Hey, all viewers and viewers, and my name is John Red Stratist, and welcome back to a game I've not played in a while, actually. Uh, I probably always say that every time I do an episode of this. Phil's joining me for some The Saboteur, aren't you, Phil? Yeah. Mm. Oh, goodness me. Indeed. We haven't done this in in absolutely ages. I've, I've already forgot what's been going on and the yeah. storyline and everything. <laughs> yeah, it took uh, me a moment to remember as well. Uh, this has dropped my memory a bit. We uh, Last episode, I think, like, uh, we'd infiltrated a Nazi facility um, dressed as, oh, in a yes, disguise. Yeah, something like that. And uh, Luke is over there in the chair. I think he sounds like he's injured. Um, so we're going to have to uh, check on him. Um, but yeah, so uh, old Sean over here. I'm not going to lie, his disguise. I'm not sure the pants really go with the German uh, field um, jacket, but <laughs> yes, um, indeed. So let's just talk to Luke and see what uh, you know, see what he's got to say for himself. Eh? Exactly. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, Where did wow. you come from? I followed you here. I am grateful for that. When I saw the damage caused by the bombing. It was terrible. I thought everyone had been killed. What happened? I stood up when I should have ducked. Maybe you should stick to writing books. How bad is it? The wound is filthy. He will need antibiotics. I'll find a chemist. Oh, of course. Antibiotics. 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 Yes. <laughs> are tightly controlled by the German military. Then I'll go knock up the crowds. There's a better way. You see that man standing over there? The one grinning like a cat with a cream-flavored arsehole? He's called Santos. I've seen him at the Bell. He's a black marketeer. He can get what we need. I'll go have a chat with him. All right, uh, we talk with this dude over here, the black market dude. What's up, oh, Santos? The one Shady stuff. Santos. Mm. Who's asking? The one that stopped these crowds from decorating that wall with your brains. Now you're gonna do me a favor. Claro que sí. What can I do for you, my friend? Antibiotics. The heavy stuff. I see. I can get you what you want, but it won't come cheap. Of course the it black won't. The market is a barter system. You'll need something to trade for There's the medicine. dirty illegal like thing as well. Yes. A black I market. sold a rare bottle of champagne to a German officer this morning. Bring the bottle back to me. It's worth a small fortune. To the right people. Okay. <laughs> back one. Bottle shock. Um, right. I guess we're going to steal some champagne, Phil. Some champagne that he just sold to a German officer, so we're going to steal it back so we can sell it to someone else. Oh right. dear. Oh, we all love a bit of champagne. A bit of champers. We have to find What's bottle. your view on champagne? Do you like to have a bit? Because mostly champagne's supposed mm. to be, well, like Prosecco. Yeah. It's supposed to be used on uh, special occasions, isn't it, really? Indeed. You usually have it on, like, New Year's or Christmas or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Honestly, Phil, I'm not a big fan of champagne. Um, I will drink it, you know, on special occasions, but it's not, it's not something um, I kind of choose for myself, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'm just not hugely keen on the taste of it. Um, no. Mm, indeed. But, uh, you know, that's me. That's just uh, my two cents on the matter. Right. Um, you see, I'm very concerned because there's a lot of fire around here, Phil. And, and fire is very good for your soul. Oh, okay. It cleanses the soul, eh? It cleanses mm. the soul and gives you a superpower of... I don't know. Don't know what. What you <laughs> Who knows? It looks like, uh, just judging by the mark of this champagne bottle that we need, is uh, somewhere outside this area. Champagne. So, champagne. Uh, can I just uh, maybe steal? Oh, okay, yeah, I can just take this car, <laughs> this random car with the suitcases oh, on top. France. Yeah, we're in yeah. Paris, aren't we? That's right. From what I remember. So here we are, GTA World War Two. <laughs> yes. There you see. Indeed. I believe this game was originally two thousand and nine. Yeah. I think it was. Sorry, I was just stopping there because I heard piano music. And for a second I thought I heard the piano music from the bar in Grom Terror in Tibet, but no, it's not. That's the theme from Star Wars. Yes, the cantina. Indeed. What? Jesus. I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm still disguised at the moment, so probably they're going to take a moment before they recognise who I am. They'll be like, oh, who's that guy in that German uniform? Right. I think I have to get out of the car here. Here we are. Yes, he's probably wondering, why is this random German dude driving this random car? Oh! Being so random. Yes. Flipping soldiers. Fish. What are they like? Yes. Fish, just being random. That's all he's doing, just saying random phrases. Indeed. Yes, yeah, so I have to go down there. There's fucking soldiers okay. around who are being... Oh, no. Absolutely, get soldiers around. Indeed. Piss off, soldiers. Go and do your stuff elsewhere. There we go. Okay. 
All right. No doubt the person who the champagne was sold to is in that building up there. Ooh. Well, everyone's having a bit of a drink over here. What's the approach? Are we going to Assassin's Creed this? Climb up on the buildings and then swoop in and get it? Oh, that looks a Sounds cracking like bottle of champagne. Yo. Party. Better grab the bottle That's before the mushrooms, I believe. Mm, indeed. Right. Oh, yeah, freaking soldiers. Oh, yeah, I think we're... Been spotted. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to climb up oh, and over, I think. Gestapo. Gestapo? Little... Uh-oh. I think someone sees me climbing. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, they're shooting at me. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, no. <laughs> Was there someone climbing. on the roof? Oh, this... Yeah. Durr. Get up there. Shit. Run! <laughs> oh, whoa. Right. Okay, we're on this side. Okay. Ooh, who's oh, shooting at me now? I don't even know. I can't even see them. Ugh. Where you at? Oh, God dang it. Can I get up there, please? There we go. God, Do I have any weapons? Right now, all I got is friggin' uh, fists. That's all I've got. Um... Alright, party's down there by the looks of it. Oh god. Um, mm. if I was... How can they how can they see through your disguise? Well well, because I climbed up a building, yeah. Oh well that, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why the fuck would a German soldier be climbing up the buildings like that? Oh that shit. Was also, um uh, I think Ooh. back in World War Two, that uh, neighbours snitched on each other to the Gestapo. Yeah, they did. Doing anything out of the ordinary. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. It was such a time. It was indeed. Oh god, now they're shooting like crazy. Yeah. Oh, uh, why did it's I jump like there? Ow. Dictate. Oh god, that's right. caused damage. Like Punch this guy. That's it. <laughs> Just fucking kick the shit out of this guy. Can I get his gun? Um, oh shit, how do I get his gun? Uh, oh god, I, oh god, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Weapon. I'm fucking dead. This was bad. Alright, just go for... Yeah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> God wow. dang, there's well, fucking enemies everywhere. A, if ever I've seen a big fuck up... That was it. <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, that was a hell of a big one. Sounds like that Tosser's throwing a party. Better grab Bob before he sees it. Jesus. <laughs> Man. I know he's right. not So what's the approach here? What's How do we do this? Because, um... Can I just walk past them in my uniform? Is that it? Or... Nope. Or candy. Yeah, it, mm. yeah, because it looks like the mini map in the bottom left when the yellow thing comes up. Uh, what? Oh, well, okay, apparently. Oh, right, okay. They're just shooting at me now. That's it. So, yeah, I can't just walk in. The disguise doesn't protect me in that way. Nope. Right. They, uh, they've had a, they've oh, really God. Don't you don't climb very fast. You're no assassin, are you, there, Sean? He's not coming ready to become an assassin. No, he's not. Well, I'm probably going to fuck this up again, but we'll see. Can uh, you hide? Is there an option? Um, there probably is, but I don't know. Fuck me, they're like shooting from all directions. What? Oh, no doubt, because there's, oh, there's a fucking sniper tower over there. Oh, yeah. god dang it. Whoa, okay. It's all, it's all Down here. As well. Yeah. Oh, shit. Careful. That was risky. Oh, god dang it. Right, you. Fuck you. Oh, wow. Punch him. There we go. Right, can I get, get his... Done? I don't know, like, how do I pick up his gun? I can get his, his uniform, though, <laughs> and just oh, disguise good. myself. There we go. Oh, come off it. Like, who's shooting me now? Seeing me now, even? I don't know. God dang it. All right. They're all over here. That's the freaking champagne. Oh, what? Nobody was looking in my direction, then. How did they sense me? Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's going good for you, this. It's not going well for me at all, this. Get that champagne, come <laughs> on. Hey, come here. Oh, that probably hurt. Okay. Oh, oh, Fuck you. Going... No, no, this I can see it was all going to kick off. So I got out. Go. Oh, wait oh, a minute. didn't get out of there. Oh. Oh. Hang on, I triggered a cutscene before I died. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to die. This fucking dude. Yeah, I'm dead. Never mind. Yeah, Dang it, I thought I could punch him. There. No, I wasn't getting out of that. Jesus. God, they're like fucking enemies everywhere here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh it's put me here because it's a fucking checkpoint, isn't it? All right, go ah. around here, climb up. Come on, oh, we'll get up there. Escape now. Yeah. Oh, God, I wish he climbed a bit faster. But he doesn't. God, firing, aren't they? They're going crazy, but he wants me to go this way because there's a fucking thing over here. Hiding right. spot. About bloody time. All right, get in there. <laughs> wow. Are they just going to come up here and they're going to be like, oh, shit, where did he go? Oh. Can't find him. <laughs> Enemies in video games. Awesome. Did you? Wow, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. I, can't that. I know. It's like Assassin's Creed. You know, you go into a haystack. 
Yeah. It's like, I can't, where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, I can't, oh. can't find him now. Get onto that, maybe? No, no, don't snap onto the drain pipe. Oh. I want to go onto there. You see, yep. we all love uh, video game logic, we don't do, we? We do, don't we? Oh, God damn it! I'm trying to get on that balcony down there. He, he keeps snapping. He keeps... <laughs> maybe he's, he's trying to start a new life with that drain pipe. <laughs> he's falling in love with the drain pipe. Maybe just go up it and then come yeah. down. Onto this one. <laughs> Whoa, careful there, Sean. The balcony. The balcony. Vinnie Balcony. He's like a... Uh, that's a new uh, Mafia Don who's in town. Exactly. It's like Vinnie Falcone, except... <laughs> balcony. Yeah. Ooh, careful. Uh, careful well, do it. Well, he's no longer shooting. Yeah, so... oh God. The one, one's downstairs, though. Uh, we just have to watch out for. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. And Charlotte is safe from uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Watch out! Yeah, <laughs> watch out! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Keep going down. Go down. In That's it. Oh, get off that. That's it. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Unless we still can. Uh, this way. Oh God, that is a friggin' enemy truck. Is it me, or since and since we've played this game before and in the past, it always seems to be night time? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Seems That's to feel like night time all the time, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't exist in this world. Though we did have um, the daylight levels where it was the race car thing. Uh, oh, the race car, yes. Yes. Remember that? The race car, yes. The race, race car. Which indeed. is one of the longest words that's also a palindrome. It is, it is indeed, race. isn't it? Yeah. Now, can I just wander past these guys or am I in sort of an alert area? It's the famous race car level in Mafia. No, it's uh, not. This Mafia game had a notorious racing level which was hard as nails and then they did the remake which toned down the difficulty yeah but it was still there <laughs> indeed indeed it were though to be honest you know i'm just sort of agreeing with you even though i've never yeah, actually played you, you don't know anything about that yet. i don't <laughs> no um so you know i have no idea if phil's telling the truth or not for all i know phil could be making this up completely fibs. he'll be like me fibs fibs I don't, fibs I'm fibbing fib. phil Yes, it's your middle name, Phil. They call you oh. Phil Fibbing. Shit. I didn't realise yeah. that. That would be weird that my parents decided to say that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to have a word with my parents. I got champagne for you, Santos. Ah, muy bien. Ooh. 1922. El primero. Lucky for us that German major didn't have a chance to open it, eh? You got the stuff? No, I it was still caught. Cool. Right mm. They say Santos is like the poster service. Always reliable. Uh -huh. Oh, stop referring yes. to yourself in the third oh, person. Oh, momento, Irishman. You are out of a job, no? I might have worked for a man with your talents. Sorry, I'm on holiday. Then I might have something else that would interest you. When you have finished here, come find me. My place is right across the street from the bell. Okie doke. Take the meds that to the happens in video games. Yeah. Ooh, you finished a task for me. I have other work for you to do. Indeed. Yeah. I have other work for you, traveller. Okay. <laughs> All right, going around here, are we? Yes, that's where we're off to. You see, we're down here. Into this hideaway. Okay. Boom. See, we're doing it. Ah, we need to talk to you. I brought the medicine. Oh, good. Oh, yes, the medicine. The wound has become infected. I will stay till he's back on his feet. You can't stay here. Come on, I'll take you back to the bell. No, you will not. Veronique, I'm just looking out for you, that's all. The way you looked after Jules. <laughs> that will not uh... be necessary. <laughs> Dear me. Well, I didn't go too well, but mission complete nonetheless. That's a little science thing I want to know. If there's any of your viewers that are sciences, uh, who, who are interested in science or know a lot, mm. how long can it be before a wound can actually become infected? I suppose it depends on the um, w w what you come into contact with. Yeah. If you come into contact with a virus or a bacteria really quickly, then you'll get really infected really quickly. But Indeed. it could be a while. But yeah, and things like it's supposed sort of incubation period. Yeah. Yeah. It also depends like climate as well, because like in tropical areas, if you take an injury, it can get infected hella quick because <laughs> um, uh, of the heat and all that. But yes. But uh, yeah, I'm sure some scientifically minded viewers out there will be able to give to some answers. Enlighten us. Indeed. Uh, also, as well, I suppose if you're like in the Antarctica, yeah. for example, probably, you're probably not going to get for a while. Mm, indeed. 
All right, uh, I do see it things. It just to show you, doesn't it, how vulnerable our bodies actually are. Yes, it does indeed. Okay, I think we have to go outside and we because this is what we've learned from you know coronavirus. Coronavirus? What's that then? I don't know. It's it's something. I think <laughs> it's a form of cheese. Cheese, maybe. Oh, man, indeed, dear mature coronavirus. Oh, that sounds tasty. Tasty, yes. All right. I think, uh, yeah, there's no actual active mission at the moment, but it looks like there's a couple of icons on the map that it wants us to go towards. So we could uh, sort of explore. Yeah, we could, couldn't we, actually? Look at all these. Whoa! What was that? You see that fucking car just fly through the I air? Did. Then? I did. What was that? <laughs> that was what weird. Was that? I think something yeah. bugged out. Yeah. Something did. Oh, Bastard. God. Yeah, they're like all crashing into each other and there's like people dead on the floor now. What the hell just happened there? I Man. think, Andrew, that's what they call a bug. Yes. A glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, you might want to lean back from your microphone a little bit. Um, <laughs> yes, there we go. But um, yeah, that was weird. That was very weird, that was. Um, <laughs> just saw that blue car well, that go flying. Yeah, it was sort of cutting well, out a bit. But, yeah. 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 Well, Phil's just uh, leaning closer because of the fact that, uh, you know, his microphone has been a bit on the fritz from time to time. Sometimes well, it can act, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah that's better. better. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, I guess we'll just uh, have a wander around, Phil, okay. and hopefully not wander into any uh, dangerous locations or anything. Hey, truck man. Whoa, what's it say on the side there? Eh, that's a re something you know, or other. Do you know why um, the term for bug came to be called bug? Hmm? Why is that? It's the first ever um, sort of uh, bug that happened in a video game or, or a computer uh, software. It was, yeah. it was caused by an actual bug. Oh, right. That's yeah. why. <clears throat> it was caused by an actual bug inside the... Um, I think it was inside the computer itself. It was on the motherboard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's how it came to be called bug. Hmm. Term. Top of the morning to you. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, all sorts of interesting things about... I just love the creation of the, of the computers and everything. Yeah. Uh, so, Whoop. one of my sort of... Heroes, yeah. I would say, I'd love to meet would be Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage, yes. And uh, Ada Lovelace. Mm, indeed, these you historical those... figures. I think we're in an area we've not cleared out here because it's going into like the grey colours. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for those who are unsure, Charles Babbage was the sort of, sort of the father of computing. Indeed. Uh, uh, Ada Lovelace is the is the uh, mother of programming. Yeah. Uh, she invented the first programming language. She did indeed. Mm. Look at this guy here, with his around his store. Selling squares. I mean, you're not really out on the street, mate. You need to get this out there, no. where people can see, yeah. not out here. And people you want too. their chicken and their ham. You need to... Sorry, vegan options aren't available here. Yeah. <laughs> it's World War Two, so it's very unlikely <laughs> that there would be a vegan option. So... I can just, do... oh, I can just imagine, uh, like, a Karen uh, walking up. Excuse me, I see no vegan options. Where's my vegan cheese? Oh dear. And where is my new uh, soya protein? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny that how, uh, you know, the name Karen now has come to be associated with a certain personality type. How, how did that fall? Mm. Was it that the first the first person who, who complained, she was actually called Karen? Yeah. There's probably like one or two instances of it and people now have just made it into kind of like a meme almost. Mm. But yeah, but uh, but that's the thing. Why Karen? Why yeah. not like or... Indeed. Must have been because the name of the first person who did that, who, uh, who made like a huge complaint, was called Karen. Karen, yes, indeed. Here we are I mean, on the bridge. The male equivalent. Yeah. You know what the male equivalent hmm. is? It's a good, a good question actually. Maybe a viewer can uh, enlighten us on that. Is there a male equivalent to the Karen, uh, who um, you know, a name that we can uh, use for guys of that personality type? Yeah. Yes. I hate people who are like that. Yeah. Why have you got to go against... Yeah, people who work in customer service. Both you and me have worked in customer service. You, yeah. obviously. You've, you're, me, not really face-to-face. -face. I've been in a call centre. Indeed. You face-to-face. -face. And there's that, that thing that says that you, sh you should try at least once working in a customer service role or a yeah. retail role. <laughs> Just to get experience of what it's like, ladies and gentlemen. It's hell on bloody earth. Yes, indeed. It can be. Um... You know, depending on what sort of customers you get through the door on a particular day. Mm. Oh, boy. You know, and the worst part is when you're just having one of those days where it feels like everything's going wrong. Um, 
Yes, I remember having one of those days, actually, back in the day when I used to oh, you always work have a customer day service. Like it's going wrong. Yeah. yeah. The customer is always right. Oh, fuck off. No, they're mm. not. Yeah, I remember one day in particular. Um, it was like a Sunday, I think it was, uh, when I was in at work. I think, um, yeah, it was like everything that could possibly go wrong, if I, like, went wrong. Oh, um, no, Murphy's Law was applying to you. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, basically, like, I got there, and I think... We were supposed to originally have a certain number of people scheduled to work that day, but I think like one of them had called in sick, so automatically we were like a member of staff down. Um, and then as the day sort of progressed, we had problems with the dishwasher uh, in the kitchen because it's like it's like a proper big, you know, commercial dishwasher for like getting masses of plates through all at once. And something you had gone. Those, those yeah. Sort of scenarios. Something went wrong with that, so we ended up having to hand wash a lot of our plates, which means, of course, it takes ages to clean stuff. Oh, so the result of that is that uh, we ended up with shortages of certain bits of cutlery, things like that, which is not what you want when you're working in a cafe. Um, and then it was like there was a customer who had just a complaint. Give them, just give them a fork with bits of food on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like that. Just looking at this, what's this? Something cabaret. Cabaret. I mean, there's not much of a, not much of a texture there's not going, much going on. going on in there, is there? There isn't. <laughs> I was just looking sorry, at that. Sorry, I interrupted you. You had a customer who did what, sorry? So we then had like a customer who had a complaint because she'd been waiting for her food for ages and oh, she was getting really angry. And it just like, oh God. And then, yeah, it was like everything just went wrong. And it was like, that was just a day to forget. Ooh, there's a sex shop this way, apparently. Oh. Deary me. <laughs> oh, we've got to go and investigate that. Yes. Oh, hello. Are you one of those window dancer type women? Ah, uh, uh, window, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Good you're not really doing all that much, but uh, there you go. Uh, very Where be at a sex different shop? Different red light yeah. <laughs> There's another one over here. These um, shops all seem to have the same kind of texture on the inside. Oh, yeah. well, not you've got two much. customers now. You going to uh, do anything? You're just going to stand there doing something with your hair. Okay. Hmm. It's funny, this, because um, I've seen uh, these YouTube videos where these guys go down like a red light district. Yeah. And you can just see these um, uh, these women coming out going, eh, 50 euro, 50 euro. <laughs> yeah. And there's one who's going, uh, 50 euro, I sucky. Oh, God. Like, like, <laughs> yes. Forward. Would you like a happy ending and all that? Yeah. Things like that, yes. Because they're, technically they're not allowed to say certain words and phrases. Yeah, there's one who went, who went, I sucky your banana. <laughs> what? Oh, you get. Yeah. Uh, you want my banana? Here you go. Pull out. What you should do is pull out an actual banana. There yeah. You go. <laughs> Suck my banana. There you go. Here's the sex of sale. <laughs> bon marche. Can we go in there? It doesn't look like we can. I feel like though. I don't know. I'm, right. I'm going to make a prediction. Some point in this game, there's a mission where you're going to have to come here and you're going to have to go in one of these shops. You're going to have to ah. like meet an informant or a spy or something who's yeah. posing yeah. as I don't know, like a. Um, a dancer or something. Who knows? Oh, yes, that could definitely be a mission. Yeah, I could see that being a mission in this game. Not going to lie. See, it's always worth exploring. You know, just see take an episode. Out, yeah, get, yeah. See, see what you can find out around this area. Indeed. There's a lot of these uh, Pigal cabaret, cabaret buildings, yeah, which have the same, same texture. Sort of texture. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. I feel Ooh, like maybe the texture at the same time. Yeah, see? Two minds that are thinking alike, Phil. Good. Right, let's go this way. Think different. Yeah, see? So, man. Going back to the, um, uh, the customer thing, I, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't really ever do that, uh, be, be annoyed, because I know how, how much you can get, how much the staff can get stressed. Yeah. Just, if I was, yeah, if I was waiting quite a while, I'd be like, I, I wouldn't get into a, like, an absolute fit. I'd yeah. Be like, Excuse me, I've just, yeah, just, just a little one. I've just been waiting, you know, yeah. half an hour here now. And, uh, and if it gets too long, just like, <clears throat> say, I'm really sorry, but... I, I can't wait this long and then just go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll pay for whatever I've got if I've got drinks. Yeah. Yeah, we've had incidents like that in the past in restaurants where it's just been so busy. Like, I've been with my parents, which when I was a lot younger, being with my parents for a meal, and we just had to go, sorry, we'll just we'll pay for these drinks, we're going to have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate when that happens. I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, restaurants, cafes, things like that, you know, you get days where bottlenecks happen, where there's like a shortage of something, or you know, maybe a staff member is called in sick, and as a result, they're just down um, on numbers, and so everyone's having to work doubly hard to try yeah. and take up the slack. And it's really busy. Yeah, and uh, things just don't really work out. For you out there. Mm. That's one of the annoying things about uh, another annoying thing about a restaurant is when you let your kids 
Oh God, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't do that, please. I know. <laughs> It's good to take your kids out to restaurants, things like that, but do try and keep them under control because you get ones who just like some parents who they have little kids and the kids are like running around. It's like I you shouldn't be letting them do that because it's dangerous. Bored. Yeah, uh, I know they're bored and they're hungry as well. Mm. Um, it's but, dangerous though because like you've got waiters and waitresses going service. around with you know hot food and drinks, things like that. It's just you know keep them under control, keep them at the table. Um, Oh, what's going on here? Also, never, ever, I, well, you, other people might like this, but I used to hate it when. Mm-hmm. Don't ever let service notes your birthday. Oh, oh God, I hated <laughs> yeah. that. Mm. You were just, you, you didn't want it because it's just, it's just full of embar- embarrassment. You're just sitting there going, "Happy birthday!" Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, I think we're back at the Bell by the looks of it. The, yeah. um, the big uh, gentleman's raunchy club. Let's just go inside for the hell of it. Just Why not? Good. Yeah, but yeah, I mean... Um... No weapons inside, handsome. You can leave them with me. Anything for you, beautiful. Merci. You can have them back when you leave. My weapons? I don't even think I've got any, to be honest, but... Uh, uh, yeah. I to use our fists. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did you have any moments in restaurants like that where you had, uh, where your parents or someone um, uh, told them it was your birthday? No, I don't think so. At least I've not that I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it a couple of times, that one. Indeed. Hey, I'm just out on the stage. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yes. with the hot, uh, hot women who are having a dance. Did you doing too much again? God damn. Too much. <laughs> so many not people in here. Enough. I know, Who's this is also a single malt breakfast? hideout, isn't it, really? Oh, it is nearly dark outside. Have you ever had a single malt breakfast, a Phil? <laughs> a single malt breakfast? That's what he just said, <laughs> yeah. He's like, anyone offer a single malt breakfast? <laughs> No, because I do not consume any alcohols. Man. Imagine drenching your cereal in uh, whiskey or something. All right, um, there is an icon for someone in here uh, or somewhere to go. Who, who is it? Um, is there a? Are they downstairs? They're probably well, how downstairs. Have been recorded before. Um, we've been recording for a decent while. Um, yeah. We can I save at any seen. point, so yeah, we can wrap up at any point if need be. Um, hang on, let me just. Maybe try and get downstairs and uh, see what the old dealio okay. is. Hello? Who's down here? Where's VI? Who's here in the boulangerie? Oh no, that's not right. Oh, is it you? Oh, it's ah. Vittore. That's who it oh, is. Oh, Vittore. Yes. yes. I do sort of remember him. Vaguely. Sean, <laughs> On a vague I sort of level. I hope shelter from this storm. It seems fate had other plans. How did you get picked up? I was recognised by an informant. Any idea on who the rat oh, might God, be? Oh, God, it's always, always informants. Yeah. <laughs> but I know he's planning to meet with a Nazi officer outside the bell. I'll follow this crowd. He'll lead us right to the snitch. Yes, that is one way. You have another idea? I saw the German put the informant's letter in his pocket. Whoa, there's if a you snitch. Had that letter, you know what happens here. Snitches get stitches. You could find this mm. Judas before he collects his 30 pieces of silver. Where I come from, snitches get paid in lead. <laughs> okay, 30 pieces of lead instead of 30 pieces of silver. We have to find General Kleeb, or Kleib, however you pronounce it. Um, yes. Are you uh, alright up there, perched on that balcony very precariously? Oh, or that balustrade, off. rather? <laughs> Health and safety nightmare right there. Indeed. It's, yes, uh, OSHA. Yes. OSHA non compliance. <laughs> there we go. This way, Mr. Debler. The show is about to begin. The show is about to begin? Why, what's going on this way? Oh, is this like the hideout, I guess, isn't it? Yes, okay. Can we go yeah. into this hideout? God, it's been so long since I last played this, I, I can't... There's so much that I just can't really remember. What is this area? Oh, God, I don't remember this. Okay. No, I don't think we've been here. It looks no. like a cellar. Yeah. Hmm. They're curious. There's like blue icons Find on that. Strasser. Strasser? Oh, my God, he's in the wrong franchise. Oh. Well, what's this area down here? It's like an underground bar. My God. Hmm. I didn't. Know. Who knew all this was down? Here? Is this the is this the members only section down here? Yeah. What is going on round here? Yeah. This is a uh, everyone's. Well, I say everyone. A few people are wearing sort of masquerade masks and things. Yeah. No. This seems a bit peculiar down here. Ah. There's an icon here. Who's? What the? Play game. Oh God. Am I going to have to throw knives at? It's like the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling I. Have a sense of what's going to happen here. Let's see what this is. Okay. Welcome to the Rue de Prix. Throw knives to win cash prizes. Hit all three star symbols to win the grand prize. Uh, Palomina Sedanka. 
whatever that is. Is that a car or something? I don't know. Each time the knife, (laughs) each time the knife hits a beer or a wine glass or something, uh, Sean takes a drink. If he drinks too much, he'll pass out. Only twenty-five contraband to play. Oh, I only have twenty. Well, never. Oh, oh, never mind. Um, (laughs) All right. Um, Well, yeah, I can't play because I've only got twenty. Well, that's no good. Deary me. Play that. I can't play the special members only games. Deary me. What a little place this is. Weird that we found an underground bar. Yes. Well, they say this is the secret one. Hang on, there's like more stuff over here. What's going on? Oh, what's, what's uh, oh God, there's a couple of things in here. Hello. Watch a burlesque dance. What's this one? Watch a three girl show. Oh. Deary me. Okay, <laughs> should we go for I a three girl for show? The viewers, I think for the viewers, we need to watch a three girl show. Three girl show it is. Right. <laughs> viewers, Hopefully, you're in for a surprise. This isn't too raunchy, but uh, we'll see. Oh, way up. Yep, it's raunchy, of course it is. Oh. Ooh. Well, it's that uh, old school style. Uh, okay. <laughs> Luckily, they've uh, they've covered it up, so we don't have to do some. Uh, some no censoring up. needed. YouTube editing. Mm. Indeed. This is what we like. Deary me. Well, there's your uh, fan service, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we got it for you specifically. Yes. Damn, they say they programmed the whole dance sequence, it appears. <laughs> Blimey. So is this just here as uh, entertainment, or do we get anything out of this? I think it's probably just going to be an entertainment thing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was all about... This was the sort of uh, um, titillating thing, wasn't it? About yeah. the burlesque dancing. And Indeed. All that. Burlesque, yes. The sort of early forms of uh, strip clubs we have now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. I guess that was uh, that then. <laughs> That's the, uh, yeah. the show. So what's the individual sort of burlesque um, dances? Yeah, because it's like two on either side. Uh, Should we go with uh, dark-haired girl, or should we go with blonde-haired girl? Uh, Blonde or brunette? Uh, I'm feeling brunette. Um, Okay. (laughs) I'll dance for you any time you want, Irishman. Wait, are we even to pay for this? Oh, that's a good question. No, you can have me for free. There you go. That's my question. (laughs) That's the answer to that one, then. Oh, Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. Damn, oh, this right. is a raunchy episode, this one, isn't it, Phil? I know. Oh, here we go. Right. So sort of dragging so, that chair along. <laughs> we've got a one woman show now. We have yes. a three woman show. <laughs> Indeed. Such I a. Think um, a theme from Dirty Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I say, it's such a funny. Um, it's a funny dance form, burlesque, isn't it? With how yeah. sort of raunchy oh, it is. Good. That is another view. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> God, it's like these strip clubs that you buy in a GTA 5. <laughs> yeah. I'm going down to the Vanilla Unicorn next. That's it, the Vanilla Unicorn. Yes. Goodness me. You throw dollar bills at a uh, woman on a stripper yeah. pole. <laughs> and then you can have your own private dance. You yes. can have two others, yeah. My well, nothing much to say here. <laughs> this is certainly some dancing. It is indeed. In front of the Eiffel Tower as well, a painting of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> Gustav Eiffel would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, he would indeed. I wonder what's going through Sean's head. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh no, I need to do it. I need to do it in an Irish accent. Um, Can you... the ability to do an Irish accent has sort of vanished. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear me, look at some burlesque dancing over here. There we go. <laughs> Hail Mary. That's the best one yet, the titty, titty jiggle. The titty jiggle. The jiggle physics. Oh, yes. It's like dead or alive, extreme volleyball. Now that is a game which has got fan service with a massive stamp all over it. Fan service with a capital F. That's what it is. Yeah. Capital FS. You mean? Indeed. Oh. Shimmy. Way up. <laughs> well, there we go. 
that was uh, your one woman was, dance there. Was there um, music with that? There was music, yeah. Um, well, when you upload, I'll have a listen. Indeed. Yeah, there you go. So uh, I think that's probably a place to end that one. So that was the fan service episode, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we've got, so we found this underground secret hideout. Yeah. Indeed, yes. This underground section of the bell. Uh, I'm just going to stand on this. Here. Yes, I'm just going to stand on this piece of furniture with my dirty shoes. There we go. So thanks for joining me there, Phil. Yeah, the saboteur. Interesting to come back to this. Mm. I actually, to be honest, I hope the wheel pick gives it a pick again. Because yeah. Nice mm. to, uh, to do it, but we shall see. Yeah, it would be good to maybe play more and more of this uh, every so often. It's just got to have so many games um, that I'm doing I know. at the moment. The game library is, uh, is extreme. <laughs> it's chock full, that's what it is. There you go. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed that then, ladies and gentlemen. In that case, we'll uh, wrap up here. So, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel, as always. If you enjoyed, you know, a like is always appreciated. So, do drop, drop us a like and all that, folks. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we'll um, we'll sign off now. So a goodbye, everybody, or au revoir, yes, as we I should agree. say. Au revoir. Yes, we are in France after all. Indeed, au revoir, everyone. I know you're there. I know you're there. Can't do your worst. There you are. Oh my God, that is not. I did jack shit to that. Oh bloody hell! No. Uh, quick weapon. It. He's gone. He's dead. Well, that was a waste of an RPG round, but never mind. There he is. They don't actually do much damage, do they? With each shot. I think it's just gonna loop around all over the place. Oh sh- Oh no! Oh no! No, don't you fire my- your bees at me! <laughs> <laughs>